Yeah, hi. So in this video, we are going to see how to do edge to edge insert uh, in Android Studio using Jetpack Compose. So we can do it in normal also. I am using Jetpack Compose, so it's the latest update actually. So the edge to edge, it, which means so it will remove the top status bar and the bottom navy bar uh, spaces. We can occupy that and we can use that for our design template spacing so okay so now i am having the gray template so usually what we'll do we will change the color of the uh, uh, system navigation bar and system uh, content bar okay so now we don't want to do that so we can actually occupy the space with our layouts new layout whatever the design is going through we can do it by itself like that so uh, let's see how to do that so actually it is from uh, jetpack compose so you have to create a jetpack compose navigation and one more thing we don't want to do anything else we you have you have a edge to what is that? okay yeah enable edge to edge okay uh, so enable edge to edge lit, uh, screen which means oh, when i am running on second so it won't give live, live update because it is a system change so it will uh, tell uh, the android application to show view our preview our application behind the system screen okay in the system so now you can see on my previous screen is like this I will show it over here. My previous screen is like uh, we have a top bar and status bar and current screen is like it is fully completed uh, green screen. Then the text is applying over there is in the top. OK, and bottom also it is in the bottom. So we have to uh, do uh, based on this. OK, so you can do you to your own, but I won't recommend by doing it to our own. OK, so uh, in this case, it will be very easy. So uh, I in iOS, it is having a edge cases long back. So now in uh, Android, uh, we have now so we can design those things. And uh, in these things, we have to uh, without affecting the status bar, uh, status bar, we have to design based on that. So major action, we don't want to show it over there. Anything simple we can show, but major action we can't show. We don't want to show that. That's a good one. So there is a two things called. Um, Windows inset, okay. Windows inset padding, okay. Windows inset, okay. So Windows inset, so this safe, safe drawing, safe content, and safe, safe gestures, okay. So safe content means it will have a equal padding for top, bottom, and sides, okay. So if I gave uh, safe content, which if I save, gave safe content, and if I save that means so you can see it now the text which is in the top of the screen it is now moved to the safe area and bottom of the screen is moved to the safe area and you have a space between right and left so you have we have a same thing for safe content and safe gesture to gesture means it is based on the gestures which gesture we are doing so safe gesture is the same there is a small difference in uh, here what is that safe drawing okay safe drawing will have a small difference it will it doesn't have the side it will have only vertical top it have a padding in the top it have a tab padding in the top that left and right padding doesn't have so these are the uh, main things so you can notice you can do safe safe drawing wherever we can draw or safe contents means it will give the space for whole bracket okay you can design like that okay so other other than that uh, the thing is um, you can do this is the one way of doing this uh, safe draw, drawing safe inset padding other than that you can do like you can just type safe okay so you can do any of this it's like safe content safe dis, uh, drawing padding safe gesture padding you can directly use this in a um, uh, modifier also okay so once you do this one okay so we have some other options too in the windows inset windows inset top height bottom height if if you don't want to do in a global banner i want to do only for status bar i want to do only the bottom bar i want to do this only for this means you can separately specifically you can do for top height bottom height like that when set in top height means it is this system top bar height bottom height means this is this one okay so based on that you can uh, do like that okay so this is uh, this is the one of the major advantage we can design uh, it will have a major increase in our order but based on that you have to uh, design without cutting out your um, designs okay yeah so uh, another one thing you can do it like uh, if you have anything major design so that one which this system bar will affect or this, this system bar will uh, 
disturb the design it's like full media player or full image view like that it will disturb means you can use it like you can hide this system bar so let me show you how to hide this for that okay so for that uh, we need to get a inset controller windows windows inset controller okay window compact window compact dot get inset controller window slash window dot decoder view okay so now we have a windows inset controller so using this windows insert controller so i'm just going to use this windows insert controller dot hide and show okay so there is a two thing we have hide and show okay so if I am show or if I am doing hide and so we have a type okay so the type is from this windows inset okay type dot so IME status bar capture uh, capture bar so these are the uh, default system UI, UI things you so IME means nothing but it's a keyboard okay the interaction menu uh, okay so i am so if if i am clicking this one means if you get this one it will hide okay and system bar status bar so all those things so if i hide this system bar what happened okay yeah annotation okay okay where is it type i think wrong import i think let's see import Okay, type from where is it? See you Android Windows insert this one only. Okay, Windows insert contact. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, so this is the one. So now I am running this one again. So let let let's see. Uh, you can you can see it by yourself. This uh, status bar will be gone now, and you can use that one as you, for your devices. Okay, so this is the major another one advantage on this one okay yeah so you can see it now the status bar gone actually okay so based on that uh, so you can use this for any media player or image views like that so this is the major uh, edge to edge case and you can uh, i recommend when you are using this one use it with the safe case don't use anything like that and you have another separate uh, specific things also to use it's like uh, you can specifically give the spacings for um, uh, status bar height you can take the status bar height actually so you can take the status bar height like windows bottom height means you can take the windows inset right windows inset dot not this one dot system bar so if you take the system bar it will give the system bar height system bar means the top navigation bar height so based on that you can use it and ime if you want to do it for ime means you can take it for that okay so this is how uh you can uh, use this H2S case, so it is a very great advantage. Uh, let's see in another video, okay? Yeah, thank you.